To another GM Golf video. Today I'm out here with Alex Perrick, aka AP Bassin from the Guggen Squad, and we have Micah Morris, who you guys have seen on the channel. And today we're gonna be playing like I don't even know how many holes. We might be able to fit like six holes in. We're gonna be casting a golf ball. Guys, this is the ultimate fishing and golf combination, and we have one of the most well known. Well known, definitely well not pro, known. definitely not good, but well known. At least I'm one known. of the coolest. We'll just say coolest fishermen that you, a lot of you guys probably know. But anyway, we're gonna be playing like six holes in today's challenge most likely all are going to be around like 50 to 60 yards and the rules are pretty simple you just pass the golf ball and if you make it in the hole you make it in the hole we're playing stroke play 1v1v1 one one one. i'm going to go ahead and guess alex has a really good chance of winning this challenge just because we are not as good this is all about fishing. casting accuracy right i think what it's going to come down to is so you can max out the spool the deal is this golf ball probably weighs over an ounce or around an ounce so you can max out the cast so it's not going to be about the long distance cast it's going to be out the short game right so if you can get that ball into the hole you know pitching and flipping and that sort of deal so there we go. Let's do it. Looking clean. In today's challenge, we're actually gonna start with a very simple hole. We're gonna be going to this yellow flag right over here. It's almost just like a chip shot, but I think each of us will get to pick one hole. So I'm picking this first hole. Alex can pick the next hole, and then take and pick the next hole, and then we'll pick again. Who wants to go first? Should we like? I think that we should let Alex go first. It's pretty much a cast, and you can't reel back, right? You can't reel no, back. You can't See? reel back at all. Joe is gonna mark the ball as soon as you, as soon as it lands on the green. Everybody has a unique ball mark here. This is obviously Perrick's ball mark, Tig's ball mark. Shout out to Atomic Golf Garrett's ball mark. That's freaking cool. Heck yeah. Just a little presentation to this hole right here. Okay, let's see what happens. Practice? Yeah. yeah. This is practice. Ooh. Ooh. That's some spin on it. So it's got to, but I can't. You I can't, can't go send... like this and then bring it back. Yeah, no. you cannot. You can't bring it back, but you can let it go as far as you want. Red or yellow? Yellow. Yeah, so he couldn't send it. Oh! But I could. But you... Would that count or no? Well, he just had his thumb on it and it stopped I think and that jerked counts. back. You can't you reel. You can't just you, you can't, can't reel, reel and pull. But what happened there, guys, is he just stopped it with his thumb and it just bounced back to the hole. Okay. That was that, that was, was a little stuff. Okay. You kind of pulled. I gotta that be. One. A, I got. Okay, got it. Right. I you got can it. only just stop it. So first hole here. Like, what do you think you're gonna make it in? Have you done this before? I have done this before. I've never done like, this. Like, what? Like, is this a par three? What are we yeah, calling par this? three? We'll par call three. it a par three. Yeah. Okay. We're yeah. playing stroke play. This is about a par three. Here we go. Joe's got the marks. We're using one pull. First hole. See what we can do. Okay, so spin on that ball. There you go. I think this is a really good challenge. If you guys want to see more of this challenge or have us do different variations of this challenge, let us know. Here we go. I have not casted this at all. So that was this is pretty clean. That was good. That was good. That was pretty clean. Yeah, you got a better shot than me. AP's probably like 15. I don't know. He's like right on the edge of the green. Garrett, now. I'm going to go ahead and take a bold prediction. I'm going to be the worst of this challenge. I, I kind of doubt that, actually. Well, that I wouldn't do that. Out. It'll bounce. Yeah. All right, guys. Garrett. Oh. And that look is probably just a little bit closer hey, than mine. Look who's the that closest. That was clean. Oh, thank you. I'm not yeah, gonna lie. Boys, how do you feel about that? So here's the deal. Short game's gonna be big. Mm -hmm. The long game's easy. You know, we're all gonna be close. You got to like kind of a max exactly distance. True. The short game is gonna be key. Go. I got this. Here we go. And guys, we're gonna play the tip, the of, the tip of the rod. Tip of the rod has to be where the ball is marked. And Joe in classic style has APs as a jig. So this right here is for a two. Okay, not bad. I that was actually good. We're gonna give him that for par. Just like right. that. Anything inside of a foot will probably just give. That's so, par. So Alex is in a par. That's probably, is that the first par you've ever made? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not going to admit that, but it might be the first par. <laughs> here we are. Tig putting down the hill. We got to fit six holes in here, so we kind of got to play quick. And I that's pretty good. Yeah, it you just, didn't. I just stopped it and it bounced back. All right. Well, there that's he is. In He's in for a par right there. That was pretty aggressive, guys. It, 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 it like reacted a little different than I thought. Oh, it didn't even make his shot. And he goes, I'm going to take a one-up <laughs> lead. All right, guys, this is for Garrett's birdie and two take and one up lead. This would be pretty... I just stopped it. I just stopped it. Did I not? I mean, I think he probably did. Like, I didn't no, no, really actually see... actually tell me. No, no, it was good. I think was he just, good? like, thumb-stopped yeah, yeah. it. So, I... 
I think we're going to let me. him be in for a birdie. Yeah. Birdie. All right. All right. Yeah. I feel like he was just pretty active. All right, guys. So yeah, after the first like, hole, me and Alex are tied with even yeah, par. That, Garrett's one under. And that's kind of interesting because right before he hit his first shot, he literally said, I'm going to be the worst at this challenge. So that's a little bit questionable, but I think we're going to make some more birdies. Hole number two, which Tig just gets to pick whatever he wants to do here. So we'll you guys see. usually do like uh, consequences, who loses, or what's, or is it just for like bragging rights? We already have to jump in the pond. <laughs> so let's just make the consequence. Loser has to jump in the pond. So if Tig loses, he has to jump in as well. Yeah, I like okay, that. There I we like go. That. All right, so loser has to jump in the pond. We're filming a video oh, while they're oh, filming a video. Is that working? It's yeah, working. It you want to give it a cast real Dude, quick? Dude, that's cool. Yeah, I want to I wanna throw it. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. Oh. What's, what's the oh, Jake. Oh, Jake. Four, four. Oh, Jake. Hit him, bro. The green will never be the same. Oh. Apologize. <laughs> Sorry about that. Also, we are out at Stewart Peninsula in today's video, if you guys were wondering. Huge shout out to them for letting us come out and film today's video. All right, guys, so distance-wise, oh, it's probably about the same as the first hole, but we got a lot more green to work with, and it kind of funnels back in there, so I think accuracy is key here to try to keep one on the green. Oh. Not, uh, not bad, not bad. That was really good distance control. I feel like we're gonna make a hole in one. I really do. Did Micah hear what the consequence is if he loses? No, we're not telling him. Okay. No, I heard it. Trust me. I okay. jump in the pond. Okay. <laughs> when you lose, I'll accept here. Oh, he's trying to work it. And that's going to be way wow. short. Ow. Man, I What just, is that? See, here's what happened. I really think that he kind of just like gave up on that. No comment on that last shot. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad though, honestly. No, it wasn't bad. I feel like it started off really well and then you tried to kind of do something with it and uh, it just my went next sideways. Pick is going to be insane. Okay. You just wait. All right. It's probably going to be over the water or something. Guys, this is for Oh, he just gets what right into that? it. Wow, that is way out. Where is that going? Okay. You kind of pulled, you kind of jerked on that Listen, a little bit. I did jerk on that Just one a little, little bit. Just a little jerk jerk on that uh, one. Which, we kind of got it I, back towards the hole a little bit. Terrible shot. Kind of like Perix, but, you know, at the end of the day. <laughs> Guys, I actually have a pretty good advantage here. I think I'm the closest to the hole, Am we'll I, just say that. Alex, down the hill. Ooh! Hey. There's a little pullback there. That was a serious pullback. That was definitely some pullback. So what does that mean? That just means you made par. Made par. Okay. Yeah. Par. par. Just one stroke penalty, aka par. Alex kind of pulled that one back with his hand. It wasn't just the thumb grab. Unfortunately, he's going to be making par. Yeah. This is where no. my ball landed. I'm only about probably 12, 13 feet from the hole. And Garrett is probably closer to 20. And this would be huge if he is to go to, uh, to make two birdies after two holes. Ah, uh, there was some no. pull back I there. Didn't, I didn't touch the rod at all. Joe? I literally just put my Death thumb pull on the back, rod. Hundred percent pullback. Yeah, like, like that was going. That was exactly what Alex's yeah. did. I don't know. I think we kind of have to decide universe. No, no. Just if, to show you guys. If 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 I were to offer my impartial judgment on this, I would say that based on the look, the return into the cup looked very similar to Alex's. So I'm not, I don't know why I'm celebrating right now, but it was definitely the same thing I did. So. I think there's a par. reason. Like, right, par's good. I, par's good. Right. So anything past the hole is not good here's anymore. My camera, they can comment below what they. Do. Well, anything past well, the hole is well, no well, longer well, good. Well. Here we go. Take up here. I see what you're saying. Because that's what I did that's right there. It's really hard to judge. Like I, like I think we should make a decision. Straight okay, so I'm hole. even par because my first one went past the hole. True. All right, I like that. So now, after a little bit of a rules change, we, we honestly had no clue what this was going to look like coming in this challenge because we've never really done this. But after the second hole, we're all all square. We're all even par because what we've decided, no matter what, even if you just put your thumb on it, if it goes past the hole, it does not count. Perrick is going to pick this third hole. Show an example of what a good shot would be real yeah, quick. Something rolling Of up. rolling so like a good towards. shot would be where, like where it would be rolling into the hole. And like then that. Win. That was money. That like was that. perfect. But if it does go like this where you overcast and then bring it back then we're that having an issue good. okay that one sounds good Eric what is your pick yeah, yeah for hole number three we've been doing this little short game you know 20 30 yard pitches we're gonna max this baby up 60 yards we might go into the ditch here to where you can't see the hole yellow so it looks like we are going from right here we're about 45 yards away and we're going to the yellow pin which you have to cast it over the bunker oh Oh, just short. I think that's a little bit short, but man, I really like the way you played right, that. Check. How far is he? 12 feet. 12 feet. Not too bad. Do you think Do you think you had more than that? I had more. I, I did definitely thumbed it a little bit because I was scared of overshooting. My my game plan was to overshoot and then I undershot. But mm. So overshooting this, if you just put your thumb on it, is that still not legal? Yeah, that's fine. 
on the on this shot yeah on this shot yeah because you can't see and he's actually going for the the tomahawk cast and this is a bold move oh no oh no oh no i was afraid oh. that was going to happen so actually in fishing this is a proper technique you should be using if you guys wanted to go out and play uh, some golf and fishing definitely go for the tomahawk strategy yes as you can tell, it works perfect every time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really like that because that, me and Alex, Good. the door is open. What can I say, guys? That was just about the best cast out here, so. What's playing geese on golf courses? Are they, are they respected or are they not respected? I don't know, guys. Let us know in the comments down below because. All right, now we got Tig up here. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go with the AP strategy. I'm going to try to max this out a little bit. If anything, get this a little bit long of the hole. Guys, yeah, he definitely might need to jerk this one if he maxes it out. I don't think he's going to have to jerk it at all. What a shot! That's pretty solid there. Really Joe's like really it. excited about it, which means it's probably pretty decent. Did you ever imagine you'd be doing something like this? I did not. This is a great game. So what, it's tied right now after three holes? Yeah. Hey. That's right here. Be careful with this tip action right here, you know? Yeah. Right, right, right. Can't yeah. go past See, the line. that's what I like. He's keeping him. He's keeping him to make sure there's no, absolutely no discrepancy. All right, guys. He's going with the, the uh, just cast method. Method. That was fair. That was fair. Six feet left for his par, and AP is just off the green, and I actually only have like 12 feet, so good chance for me to make a birdie here. That would actually put some serious pressure onto these goons. With this new ruling on the field, I can't overshoot. I can undershoot and roll it in. Right. But I can't overshoot. Ooh, that, that was, was so, so close. close. See? See, but then that's where if you pull if back. If I would have pulled in. back, I would have got one little there. tiny, right. like, you know, thumb. So we'll call that a par. Boom. Yeah. Three strokes. Now we got Tig here down the hill. He's got an opportunity for a birdie as well. He has to roll it in, which makes things so much harder in this challenge. I feel like it might break a little bit to the left, so Alex would probably tell me to play a little right. That was really close. And that's gonna be in for his par though. I gotta make this guys. Big move for Garrett. Third hole, we got three holes left. This would change the momentum for me and Alex. Yeah, obviously you can see, get some hype in the chat right now. Okay, <laughs> just like that, okay. Miss Reddit. <laughs> did you, wait, did you see that? He missed it. There was a miss. I didn't know you were going. Dig. It doesn't matter because they saw my reaction. Let me miss it again for the camera. <laughs> it doesn't matter because we know you missed it. Yeah, that was Oh hard. my God. After three holes, Garrett is now one over par. I'm one over par. That's so crazy, Tig. I think we might do a par four, boys. Okay. I have to get some momentum here. I have to. If I don't, I'm just going to lose. I don't want to lose. Hole four here. Three holes left. We're back in the wind. We're going to the yellow hole. All right, guys. So Garrett gets to go first because this is his hole. And that was actually... I, it kind of came off of that, that hill. Just like that, you can see. He's probably still got about 25, 30 yards left. There. Pretty trash. Yeah. <laughs> see... This is why we get along. Hey, next time you want to go a little bit farther. And a little more left? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. a little bit. If it has enough line, Alex can get it there. Here talk about trash. This trash, this cast is about to be trash. Whenever you talk trash, then you just always mess up. But here we go. Here we go, Alex. Hole number five. Hole number four. Good math. Hole number four. Good yeah. try. Par four. Yes. Oh my... That's right See? there is for the, the consequence now you, of Max. Hey, Alex, you yeah. could have hit a little farther. No, Max out. Tig has a cast here. I don't think he can get it there. I think we chose the right distance for a par four. Dial it in. I've never seen a shank in fishing before, but I tell you what, Tig really found a way to get it done. That's exactly, I have the perfect, I was going over there on purpose because I have a better look at the green. Nope. Okay, I might have just pushed that a little bit. <laughs> Looks like we got the rest of this, the squad over here. Rackley, Matt, Steven. They're all hitting into us, so we might die. That's okay, as long as they call four. Fireworks in the background, Tig up here. I'm playing his second shot on this par four. A little short, he's got a birdie putt. Not much else he can ask for other than hitting it way closer than that. That was kind of trash. At least I'm on the green. I'm literally perfect distance wise. I just kind of pulled it a little bit. I don't know what's going on, but before I hit this shot, if you guys like fishing, why are you not subscribed to AP Bassin and the Seriously. Guggen Squad? Subscribe guys, thank you. I appreciate that. It's gonna be linked in the description down below. Kinda of didn't say that in the intro, that's my bad. We're gonna dial it in here. I might go for the little little that action, you know what I'm the saying? The pitching method. But like judging this is tough now. What is the bird's nest action? <laughs> that is not good. I knew that was bound to happen at some point, guys. Look at this. This is what happened, and it that right there results 
and he advanced the ball about 15 feet. So Alex, <laughs> basically, I'm looking for you to do that now. I don't think with a golf ball it's possible for me. It's like, too heavy. It's too heavy. Hold if on. you have a light, light okay. bait, it's possible for me to bird lash, but um, no, not right now. But that was pretty bad. Okay. Here's the deal. This, this is a fun clap, but I want to get on the actual golf game. I want to show these guys what I've got to offer. We did a little Guggen Squad Challenge today. I didn't perform my best. I was a little rusty, but I've been practicing. Give me, give me, hey, give me a month. I'll be back on the court. I just said court, and I'm on the court. Of course. Of course. course. So course. First of all, we probably should get that right. I, I honestly, I wonder how many anglers we have that follow this channel. If you guys do like fishing, you guys fish in any way, comment down in the comments down below. Just let us know, like, because I want to know. I'm going to prove to oh you guys that gosh. the overheated gas works. He's going for the tomahawk method. Oh, he's not. Okay, so right there, Garrett gets it up there, and he has that four par. We are filming two videos simultaneously on the same hole. Yeah, that's cool if you guys play through it. No. It's fine. Maybe you should have asked before, no. but it's all right. Let's make a fishing golf, golf fishing course. Golf. You have drivers, like a long pole, and then you have your putter, more accuracy. Yes, like a little... Fishing golf could be a thing. Guys, let's make a fishing golf course. We're doing it. Can we do that, Matt? Yeah, let's do it. Where do you, like, I feel like this is the perfect spot. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh, 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 no. oh, oh he's got him! No, he no, got him! Ah. That's a world record! What is this? Alright, here we go. AP up here. Parrick's going with the sidearm. I have. Yeah, I have, but I have. That was really good. That's good, and that's gonna be for his birdie. for his birdie. I've seen that's crazy things happen. He might not make that. You never know. That is true. This is for his birdie, folks. Can he dial it in? <laughs> oh, he left it short! He left it short. That's about three takes short of the hole. No way. That was tough. That was tough. Big opportunity for me here. Take four is birdie. I might have to jump in the pond twice, just say. And he's left. I got a chance. Still be one over. That was a big opportunity there, and I kind of just let it slide past. This is for par. So Garrett could potentially be making a bogey here. Oh, guys, and it just slid by. It was a misread. <sighs> I've had two bogeys in this challenge. I'm two over going into the last two holes. Wow, not ideal. Look at this sunset, guys. This is just about the perfect time to film. This one, we're going to do this one right here. Tig is going through the cart for his pick. This is tough. Par three here. It's just about getting it through the cart, okay? Par three. If you hit the cart, not ideal. Oh, he choked. He choked. He choked. You would have never expected this. That was that was horrendous. That was ferocious. That was unreal. That was terrible. All I had to do, it's like straight downhill. So if I could have got it through the cart, then we would have been looking at probably six or seven feet for birdie. But that's going to make it really hard on me to make a par. Still, it's a pretty easy shot. The key to getting a burst nest out is not getting a burst nest in the first place. <laughs> Tig is ready to lose the challenge. Perrick's about to cast this one through the cart. Here we go. Some guy who works in this hole took the pin. So Joe is standing right behind the hole just so we can see it. Oh, oh no! Yes, okay, huge. but now he does not have to go through the cart. Out of the three of us, I would have expected Alex to be the one to get it through the easiest. So Garrett, the door is back open for him. Oh, and he does it. Oh, that was so close to go Guys, it kind of has a far. I mean, it, it had a hard time focusing, but that is literally a foot from the hole. Because it's like his first shot, we have to make him putt that. 100%. He's got to put that. He's not. No. Yeah. I'll make this in right here. All right, guys. This is for Alex's two. He does not have to go through the car anymore. He's going with the... Okay, he already went. Oh, that is long. Wow, a little long. Bad. Garrett's most likely going to be at, at now one over. That is tough, Tig. He hates to see this. He needs to make this, folks. This will... That's not bad. He's got I'll that for his par. Ball. This is for him to remain at even par. Oh! Whoa. What a beast. Respect. Did not pull it back at all. It rolled that right into funny. the hole. That rolled so right funny. into the hole. And that keeps Perrick at even par. That's why he's good at this stuff. Yeah, that's not within a foot. Yeah, that's not good. Measuring that, I mean, about 22 inches. Here we go. Dig. All over the hole, and that is a bogey take to one over. Pins in, that's good. Guys, that's not good. Garrett still has to make this because we decided that it wasn't a foot, so this is a big, big putt for Garrett. <laughs> nope. Guys, that was, that was such a bad effort, and he is in for 
Boom. So second, second try's try done. He made it. But yeah. guys, he stays at two over. I'm now at one over, and That's Alex is still even par right. after an unbelievably clutch uh, third, fourth shot. One Last hole. hole. We have pick. one hole left. And it's my pick. And I've got an amazing idea right here for the last Let's hole. Let's get it. Take us to it. All right, okay, guys. So I feel deal. like he's going to be doing something pretty easy for himself, but trying to make it hard on us. Wait, we're getting in the cart? Come on. All right, All right here we are. Right here. Here's we're going over the bush? Okay, can we get on the cart? The shot from here on top of the cart. Is this the tallest you've ever been, Perrick? How does it feel to be looking down hey, on do somebody? you want to get on top of this golf cart? This is the first time in my life I've ever been on top of somebody. <laughs> the first time I've ever been this tall. Here we go. Last shot. I'm up by one. <laughs> Let's go. And that, that, that's a little long. Overshot. That was Overshot. not good. All right, take up here second. Right, guys, Alex won with the over the top method. I have to make a hole in one. I'm going for the regular cast. It's way closer. It's a little long. Yeah. That's like six feet. That's pretty bad. All right, guys, so I'm probably like 10 feet there. Garrett basically has to make this if he wants the chance to win. So he's actually getting on the cart right now. Alex is in the process of possibly doing something cool. Possibly. All right, Garrett, just going for it. Oh. oh my gosh. He like thumb stopped it and it just yanked it back. Uh, we're all on the green. Um, I think I'm the closest to the hole, but we all got birdie putts, so I just need to clutch this out. What is Alex doing? After we finish this game, I'm gonna try something that has never been seen before on YouTube. This is where Garrett's ball ended up just off the green, as you can see the mark there. So, ooh, and he just went right into the action there. And this, that's still like two feet left. Not necessarily a give me, but I don't know if it matters. If I made the birdie, it'd be nice, but a clutch two putt would also be really nice. If Alex makes this, he's one under. I gotta jump in the pond twice, which Alex and I already have to jump in the lake, so it doesn't really matter if he wins. Here we go. This is for pride. That one is left way short. Yeah, you gotta make it. This could be extremely not ideal. Oh no, and that's not even a gimme there. Alex, this is for one over here, folks. These are not gimmies. Exactly what I'm saying. And that's for two over. That's, that's no. Good that's good. That's good. That's good. That's, that's good. good. Oh no. <laughs> what a joke. What yeah. a joke. So if Tig makes this. You can two putt in the wind. Dial it in. I didn't know if I was gonna have this chance. And that. Let's go. So did you like automatically lose like completely, or did yeah, I? I gotta make he mine to for make two that. over. If he makes it, then y'all tie. Yeah. So honestly, you you saved yourself. Yeah. All right, guys. Yosu's just gonna try to tap this in for his par. And that is extremely clutch. So I got last. You tied me for last. You tied. Oh, <laughs> That was fun. That was fun. We should definitely do that again. That was a good match. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull this, that double. The sixth hole, I definitely choked on. It's a big, big, big L for myself. All right, we're going to run over to the pond real quick and see if Perrick can catch a fish on a golf ball. Let's see what this rig is. Here's my only issue is I don't have a treble hook, so my hook, like, I've kind of tried to get it to where it points out like that. You see that where the... Right, right, right. All I have is a hammer hook, so this is a 3 yacht like... Texas rig hook if you guys know anything about fishing. I probably would request a treble hook, but as you can see, I still kind of tied that knot to where it's poking out. This would be insane. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. If you guys haven't checked out Perrick's channel down below, if you guys are any fans of fishing or just vlogs in general, check him out. The Guggen Squad, all their stuff will be linked in the description down below. So once again, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy Perrick and I finishing. Wait, we gotta go jump in the water. Oh yeah, we do. Oh gosh, I don't wanna go in we the water. We said this challenge was- I don't wanna go in the water. There's a current situation. There's rocks right here. It's not deep enough to jump. So we're just gonna have to walk out. Hey, that's, that right there is called that's being a good lose. sport. That's called being a good sport. That is how you lose. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, as always, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Till next time.
<laughs> guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out to Stewart Peninsula Golf Course. This place is awesome. If you're in the area, come by and check it out. It's just a really neat layout. But guys, be sure and like, be sure and subscribe. We love you guys. Garrett's peace out right here.